boys and girls, Miss Grace here, and welcome to Fellowship Kids Online! I am so delighted that you've joined us today. We've lined up some fun game, song, memory verse, and most especially, our Bible story! I hope you have a great time learning about Jesus with us. Speaking of Jesus, who's ready to sing and dance for Jesus? Well, I bet you boys and girls are ready! And our song today, it's called, Our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. Now, boys and girls, why don't you all stand up, make some space, and get those singing voices and dancing feet ready to praise Jesus. Now, let's sing. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do In the beginning God made everything God simply spoke Yeah, 
so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Well then, boys and girls, truly our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. Well, let's all say hallelujah! Well then, boys and girls, now, how about we play a game? Who's excited for a game? Yay! Well, I bet you do. Well, we're going to play Secret Picture. And this game is very easy PC. Here we have a puzzle. I will take each piece one by one and you boys and girls will have to guess what's the picture behind each of these puzzle pieces. So, are you boys and girls ready? Well, I bet you do. So, feel free to type in your answer and we have friends online who will be interacting with you. Alright? So, as well as you have to help me sing as I take the picture or the puzzle pieces together. So, are you ready to sing? It goes like this Secret picture, secret picture. What's inside the puzzle? All right, boys and girls, let's sing it together. All right, bear with me. All right, let's sing together. All right, secret picture, secret picture. What's inside the puzzle? All right, I'm gonna take one and you have to guess. Just type in your answers. All right, Ooh, is this a strawberry? Is this a blueberry? Hmm. I think someone typed in the correct answer. Let's have a look. Is it really a pineapple? Oh, you did it right, boys and girls. It is a pineapple. Look at him. He's wearing sunglasses. Very cool, isn't it? Like you boys and girls, you're very, very cool. Well done for getting it all right. Now, let's have the second one. All right, so put this down. That's it, it's a pineapple. Well done. Now, next, puzzle piece. So now, let's sing again. <laughs> sing with me, boys and girls, all right? Secret picture, secret picture. What's inside the puzzle? Now, let's have a look. Oh, it's very interesting. Type in your answers, guys. Ooh. What do you think? It's very interesting. Alright, let me see who got the answer right. I'm just gonna flip it this way, guys, so you won't get confused. And I think some of you got it right. It's an ice cream. Who loves ice cream? I do love it ice cream. Well done boys and girls for getting it all right. So give yourself a tap on your shoulder or if you're sitting next to your brother or sister or your friend, give them a high five for getting it all right. Well done guys, I hope you enjoy this game. Yay! The next thing we are going to do is to see if we can answer our big picture question. And here's our question. What is our mission as believers? Our mission as believers is to make disciples of all nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's say it together, boys and girls. Our mission as believers is to make disciples of all nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's practice our memory verse for this series. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 4. I passed on to you as most important, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and he was raised on the third day according to scriptures. Well done, boys and girls. Now let's do it one more time. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. I passed on to you as most important, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. Great job, guys. Now, for our Bible story. Last week's story was Jesus forgives and restores. The disciples had left Jesus when he was arrested and even denied him. 
but Jesus still wanted to use them in God's plan. Jesus is the Lord who forgives us and makes things new. Today's story is Jesus gave the Great Commission. The good news about what Jesus has done to rescue us from our sins is too great to keep for ourselves. Before Jesus went back to heaven, He gave His disciples a job to do. He wants His followers to teach people everywhere about Jesus so they will trust in Him as their Lord and Savior. So, now boys and girls, let's pay attention and watch our story for today. After Jesus had been raised from the dead, he met with his disciples over the next 40 days. <sighs> During that time, Jesus told them even more about God's kingdom. Then Jesus' 11 disciples went to a mountain in Galilee. Jesus had told them to go there. When the disciples saw Jesus, some of them worshiped him, but some of the disciples still doubted. Then Jesus went up to them and said, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Jesus is God the Son. He always had authority. But after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, God gave him all authority in heaven and on earth. Jesus is the king over all creation, and he rules over God's kingdom. Jesus gave the disciples and everyone who follows him a job to do. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Make disciples of people from every nation. A disciple is a follower. Jesus wants his followers to tell people all over the world how to be rescued from sin and death by trusting in Jesus' death and resurrection then those people who believe would become disciples of Jesus too. Jesus also said, Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. New disciples are cleansed from sin by Jesus' blood. When believers are baptized, they show the world that they have turned away from sin and trusted in Jesus as their Savior. Jesus continued, Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Disciples who love Jesus will want to obey him. Then Jesus said, Remember this, I am always with you until the very end of the age. The good news about what Jesus has done to rescue us from our sins is too great to keep to ourselves. Before Jesus went back to heaven, he gave the disciples a job to do. Jesus wants his followers to teach people everywhere about Jesus so they will trust in him as their Lord and Savior. Jesus gave his disciples an important job. They were to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Wow. They were to make disciples of people from every nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We often call this special job the Great Commission. Yes, and boys and girls, I have a few questions for you to answer. All right, are you boys and girls ready? Yes! I bet you do. So first question, where did the disciples met with Jesus? A, mountain, B, in the beach, C, in the swimming pool. So type in your answers, boys and girls. Is it A, B, O, C? Yes, that's right, it's letter A. They met with him in the mountain. Now, number two. Some worship when they saw Jesus, but what did others do? A, they danced. B, doubted. C, ran. Okay, type in your answer, is it A, B, or C? Yes, that's correct. Letter B, doubted. Now, let's move to the third question. What had been given to Jesus in heaven and in earth? Letter A, all authority. B, all the food. C, 
all the clothes. Alright, type in your answers, boys and girls. Yes, the answer is letter A. All authority has been given to Jesus. Now, for our last question. Who gives the power to share the gospel? A. Peter B. An angel C. The Holy Spirit Alright, type in your answers, boys and girls. Is it A, B, O, C. That's right, it's letter C. The Holy Spirit is the one that could give us power to share the gospel. Well done, boys and girls. I hope you had fun answering those questions. Now, let's pray for God to guide us as we, or as you do, uh, those family activities as well. So, boys and girls, why don't we all put hands together? can bow your heads and let's pray. Lord, we thank you for giving us the special job, Lord, to take part in a great commission. And Lord, and as we do it, as boys and girls do it, Lord, I pray that you empower them and fill them with your Holy Spirit so they can share confidently about you, God. And I pray that you're going to bless them and help them, Lord, to speak the truth, Lord, about you towards others. And boys and girls, let's all say it together in Jesus' name, Amen. Boys and girls, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed our time together and learned something from our Bible story. Take care and see you again next week for another episode of Fellowship Kids Online. Bye, boys and girls. Have a lovely week ahead. See you soon. Bye.